How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at something that is going to be a little bit confusing for me because I can't read it. But we are going to attempt to make this microwave make your own chocolate kit by uh, Heart, I believe. If we turn it around on the back, you can see that there is a little bit of a diagram if we zoom in about microwaving your chocolate in a mug stirring it and then I guess you fill the molds up there inside of here and I think we have to freeze it for just a tiny bit of time in order for it to solidify but um it's very interesting and I'm really excited to kind of try it out so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can do all right let's slide everything out oh, okay I see so basically what we're gonna do is we have two of these little guys right here. And let's open them up so I can give you a good visual representation. Let's see. So right over here, I don't know what this one is. It's probably something important though. We'll get back to that later. Right here we have these little tiny areas in here where we're going to lay down these guys just like this. And that's before we put the chocolate on. But we use these dots to fill in these little kind of little crevices right here. If we go ahead and, yeah, these little tiny little holes, imprints. We're going to go ahead and fill those with those beads and make some designs. And then after that, um, once we are done with this, I'm going to take this thing of chocolate right here. And we're going to nuke that for probably 30 seconds. And then we're going to get it nice and liquidy. And then we're going to pour it inside of the mold and try to make some kind of like, I don't know, uh, I guess lollipop of some sort. But I'm not really sure what uh, flavor these guys are. Not sure if there's a specific flavor or not. So I'm excited to see what these taste like. And then excited to see what we can get to come out of this. So go ahead and stay tuned. So first thing we need to do is open one of these guys. And I'm going to go ahead and try one out before we put it in to see if it has any flavor or if it's just like a sugar kind of uh, base. Actually, I was completely wrong. These are just shells with little tiny bits of chocolate inside. So let's go ahead and pour some of these in here. We don't want to do too many because we want to be able to get some sort of design. I'm probably not going to be able to create the most intricate design. Sorry, my hand's blocking the way. But we can try to get like at least a, maybe some separation in here. Maybe some halvesies. Oh, that's kind of cool. There we go. They kind of jump around quite a bit. Yeah. Kind of hard to maneuver. We'd have to have like tweezers or something. So maybe this is like a, some kind of like little clouds or something. I'm not too sure. And we can throw some of these white ones in there, too. Maybe like a blue and white one. Try to put them mostly on this area. Maybe we can put like a center of a different color, like maybe like a red. We'll see what we can do. Some of these guys don't have homes yet, though, so we gotta pop them around. Oh. I guess that's okay. There we go. And I think a red would look nice in the middle. I don't know if you're supposed to fill it all the way up, but there's a lot of these balls, so you might as well try to... That might be it. Yeah, one, two, oh, there's one more. One more, right? There. And yeah, that one already, these two have homes already. Come on. There we go. So that's completely done. Kind of looks, uh, looks red, white, and blue, so... <laughs> all right, and then this one, let's do uh, some yellows. You can try to do like a fire or something. That would be cool. Don't know if I have the skill for that though. I'll stir around the edges. You know, when I'm trying to think about it, I'm just like, does fire have the yellow on the outside or the inside? I don't remember. Like traditional, like cartoon fire. Let's see. 
Gotta kinda get these to jump around until they find their little homes. Guess I can roll it around a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, nope, two of them. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. Oh, almost. But now we're knocking these guys out, too. Almost there. Perfect. And now, I'm gonna fill it with this red. Kinda looks like a superhero symbol or something. Let's see if we can get that in there. Like the flash, like a reverse flash. Actually, it looks a lot like the reverse flash. <laughs> I'll just eat these guys if I can't get them out. If I can even pick them up. You're gone. And you're gone. I might just leave these guys at the bottom though if I can't get them out easy. Alright, we have successfully made this into a design. I like this one better than I like this one, but I think they're both pretty cool, so. Let's lay our little sticks down right here. Just like that. I might actually want to put something on the ends to actually prop them up. Maybe that's what this is. I'm not too sure. It's kind of hard to tell what this is. What do you guys think that is? Some kind of grabber? <gasps> oh, I'm so dumb. This was the grabber, the, exactly what it was. Let's pour one of these out of here. This whole time, if I want to pick one up, I just gotta do that. Oh, well, oh, that's gone. Well, it works in theory. I didn't grab it properly. Let's try one more time. So we have one little guy right here, and we have these two little holes. So we grab it like that. Perfect. I can't believe I didn't realize that. Maybe I'll just throw some random thing in the middle right there. It's so precise though, and if I wanted to pick that up, so easy. I can't believe I didn't realize I'm gonna eat it. Oh well, that's okay though. We can just eat these later too, these little um, chocolate balls. But without further ado, let's open this guy, see what it looks like, and then pop it in the microwave. All right, so we have the chocolate bar right here, and it looks pretty much just like regular chocolate. I'm going to try a little bit before I melt it. Yeah. Pretty decent. Not too bad. I think it'll go really good with this, so let's go ahead and heat it up. Alright, so I went ahead and melted this chocolate up, so let's try to get this out of here as soon as possible. So we don't want this to, uh... Oh, there we go. And completely surround and fill it up. Almost there and stop. And then let's try to get as much as we can out of this one too. Because this one's going to be a little bit harder because a lot of this wants to stick to the bottom. And then we're definitely going to have to reposition those sticks to where it'll uh, do the right thing because it's not going to solidify in there in the freezer if they're not submerged in the chocolate. Yeah, it's giving me a little bit of trouble down here, but I think I'll be able to get most of it out. I should have got like a spoon or something instead. That's all right, though, if one's a little bit lacking of the chocolate. I was trying not to get it on my setup, but luckily my setup, I found a good solution made out of a uh, kind of wallpaper that you can get, and you just tape it to the desk versus... Um, the cardboard back panels I was getting before that stained really easily. This I can just roll off a new piece and it'll look exactly the same, which is really nice and convenient. So I did lose quite a bit of chocolate in there, but I was very uh, generous on this side, so that's probably why I didn't have enough. But let's go ahead and put this inside of the freezer and see what we kind of get at the end. All right, I went ahead and I took them outside of the freezer and they're pretty solid as well. But I think the biggest question is, how do we get it out of this mold? If we look on this side, you can see that it actually uh, worked pretty well. If we zoom in right there, you can see the uh, design that we created. The chocolate did kind of overlap the balls a little bit, which I'm not extremely happy about. Because if you see right here, it kind of takes away from the design if it's wrapped in uh, 
chocolate. But let's go ahead and turn it back this way and see if we can maybe push from the other side to get it to come out. Oh no, it already is cracking in half, guys. That sucks. That's all right, though. As long as we can get something out of here, right? Oh man, the uh, chocolate doesn't seem to have the same amount of dexterity as it did before it was melted. Well, that sucks. Let's move that out of the way. So, basically what we're working with now is stuck in chocolate in a mold. And I'm pretty sure I left it in there long enough, too. Um, I mean, you know, when I touch it, yeah, it gets melty, but that's just from the heat of my hands. Let's see if we can pop this one out over here. And it's on the floor. So I wasn't able to get anything out of this one, but this one right here has a lot of cool little uh, design on there, and it actually kept on pretty well. The chocolate's pretty melty still, but let's go ahead and take a bite before it all falls apart. Mmm. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. It's actually really good. Let's go ahead and lay this back in here. Yeah, that is not bad at all. The chocolate didn't lose any of its like taste when it was melted down in the microwave. There's no weird aftertaste. All of the balls that are in there are still just as good as when I ate them by themselves. And it's kind of like eating a Hershey's bar mixed with M&Ms is probably what I would uh, equivalent it to. But it's really good stuff and I definitely would suggest buying this one just as long as you separate the chocolates evenly and you make sure that you get those sticks in there more properly. Surprisingly, the one that had the stick in it better is the one that didn't work, but the one that it was kind of floating halfway out ended up working the best. So yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.